Hi, hello, and howdy. It's Sheila. Welcome to the Painted Pig Studio. Now, I'm in the midst of making a little prayer journal, and um, I took some of these that I had made before and um, made little paper clips out of them. And I'm running very low. I've only got a couple left. So, I thought I would do s some more quickly. And I did do it so quickly I didn't film any of it. I kept telling myself to turn the camera on. And I didn't do it. But, basically, it's just... I, what I did was, here's what I did. I took uh, this this burlapy, I don't know what kind of ribbon, that I like so well because it does that. <laughs> you can fray it. And um, I either got paper, fabric, or another piece of lace or ribbon and layered it with it. In this case, on top of it. And then another little bit of lace on top of that. And I'm talking, it's not very big, as you can see, this piece here. And it's it's contrasting. It's more white, so uh, I liked that. And on this one, I've got Tim Holtz fabric, and I'm not so sure about it. Um... I guess it's okay. I've got it layered up with some uh, chiffon ribbon and some of that um, other ribbon I like. That scared me. <laughs> that just as a car went by and for a half a second I thought it was a person and that they were close to my window. That was a, an illusion. But anyway, yeah, the seasons are changing here in Alabama, and yeah, my allergies are really kicking up, even though I took my medicine. Okay, so I think I'll leave that like that, and then on this one, I put the, um, the I put paper underneath it, underneath my ribbon, and I'll fray that just a little bit more. This stuff is just a dream to fray, if you'd like that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to do some editing. I don't want to. Okay, and then uh, just that. And as you can see, it's either lace and ribbons or lace paper and ribbons and I mean this was done in in no time at all and this one this is a I bought something that had that on there <laughs> and so, the pack right I am I kept it and came across it looking for something else of course so I pulled it out and decided to use it and I'm going to take one of these little uh, Bible verses. And this will be something I put in the little... The, uh... I guess I need to turn that around, huh? Am I going to be able to hide it? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to put this in the uh, little journal I'm making. Now, I don't know if I want to stitch this or not. Or if I want to leave that hole so visible or not. Oh, decisions, decisions. So, I'm going to set that to the side. <clears throat> and the rest of these, I'm just going to put... I've got fabric fix this time. Action. And, um... So, I'm just going to dot some glue on here. Just to kind of hold everything together. Um, I suppose it would be perfectly fine if you wanted to staple it. But, um, I don't think that's what I want to do 
right now. I'm just wondering if I want to put... If I want to ink it, and I don't think I do. Now, this... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, ooh, <laughs> put a lot of glue. <laughs> I'm going to rig up something to put me a wet wipe, diaper wipe, in, and I can just rub my finger on it when I get glue on there. Okay, now see, after I stitch this, I'll put a focal point on it. So I think this is this is enough for now. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to this one. Now I could put paper on this one, but I just thought I'd keep it kind of simple and add add a bit of color to it. So I'm gonna dot dot and try not to glob glob. My little grandson was over last night, and he had a little sneezing fit. And I'm thinking, yep, you're my grandchild. <laughs> uh, he didn't want to, too much to do with me last night. But uh, he gave my husband some attention, which just thrilled him. Because he used to get left out. <clears throat> okay. Now, when I put a focal point on that, it, hopefully it'll bring it all together. And so, no worries. <clears throat> and, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm just whizzing along with this little uh, prayer journal. Because um, I want to get it done by a certain date. So I can give it to the little sweet person that I'm making it for, and, um, so, you should hear about it, see a video on it, when, uh, I give it to her. Hopefully, I'm gonna ask her permission, but I think she'll let me take one. Okay, see how quick these are, and then I'm, I'm, after I finish, I will let them dry um, for a minute, more than a minute, actually, <laughs> and um, I just think that's adorable. It's almost like a label, you know what I mean, and I suppose you could do it with labels. That would be really cute to do it with the labels. I think I'm just going to put that along the the edge there. You might want to use that horizontally. Or I might want to. <laughs> You're not going to use it because I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> oh, I'm just silly today. You know, you kind of have to be in a mood like that to do one of these videos. <laughs> you can't take yourself too seriously. Not if you're me, anyway. <laughs> Never know if you got what sounds are going to come out of you, <laughs> or what sounds your chair's going to make, or how shaky your hand's going to be. I'm telling. Uh, what was it, baby? Baby Davis. <laughs> Betty Davis said, uh, "Getting old's not for sissies." And that is so true. <laughs> and I'm a sissy, so I'm not doing it very gracefully. <laughs> oh, me. Okay, this, these things are always so hard to tell. Right side from wrong side. Excuse me while I dab at my nose. Now, it is, it is gorgeous day today. I mean, the sun is really putting on a show out there. The sky is sort of an azure blue. It's just gorgeous. But it's a, it's right chilly. For me, it would be sweater weather. But <laughs> I guarantee you, you go down there to 
the University of Alabama, in downtown Tuscaloosa. Um, I guarantee you'll see flip flops, flip flops. I can't talk today. Flip flops and gym shorts. I I would bet money I don't have that that's the case. <laughs> These young girls, they don't seem to get. Uh, their legs don't seem to get cold. <laughs> their legs and their feet. I'm going to see if this is going to do right for me. Because I want it to kind of curve. And, uh, <laughs> hopefully there's not any critters out there bigger than him <laughs> that, uh, want to hurt him. I ain't seen any, but you don't know. Okay, and I've got a mess on my mat. Uh, so, I'm going to put those aside to dry. That's my chair. <laughs> this stuff. You know, I do not think about... Oh, see, that's not staying. About this chair squeaking like it does after I turn, after I turn the camera off. Mm -mm. It's totally out of my mind by then. So, that's why it has not received any attention. And it's still squeaking. <laughs> Glue won't come out of the top some there. She went. Okay. All right. Ta-da! Now dry. Don't stick to me. Just dry. I'm putting these aside over here because I'm gonna need this space. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta situate myself. Situate, as they say. Okay, uh, here it is. I'm doing this uh, for a really sweet person and that I'm going to be seeing soon. And, um... So I thought she might appreciate a little little gift, just to kind of kind of see what I what I do. Uh, she does have a, a YouTube channel, but she she does she doesn't do crafts. She does um, um, junking, and she's very good at it. So I will probably leave a link to her channel. But just don't tell her I made this for her. I don't think she'll be watching. <laughs> she did subscribe to my channel, bless her. Uh, and if you um, saw the Clanton video, you will have heard about her. But, uh, okay, so I'm going to decide. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, well. Now I'm putting the horse for the cart. The cart. 
the cart before the horse. Horse before the cart would be correct, Sheila. And you're not doing that. Okay. So let's see what what thread do I want to use? That's a little dark. You know, might as well use this. See, I'm trying, I'm trying to get better with my decision making. Is this my right needle? Doesn't feel like it. There it is. That's because it wasn't. <laughs> Okay. Notice I had the sharp one just rolling around free, and I've got this this blunt one in the styrofoam. That's me. That's the kind of sense I make. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be that way. You're supposed to be waxed. Ta-da. Okay, now I think what I want to do, first of all, which one is, okay, I've laid things all in, I think first of all I need to clip, clip them, because I'm not like some of these that can just hold them in their hand and do it, no, mm -mm. And I hope my holes are still where they're supposed to be. Because I, I went ahead and punched the holes and forgot that I, because, and forgot that I was going to do some st stitching. So, I stopped short of actually sewing it in, though. <laughs> would be my norm. Okay. And I'm going to do the back signature first. And I'm making sure that all my all my uh, words are right side up. Everything's supposed to be right side up is right side up. And I just stuck my finger. It's not bleeding yet. <clears throat> These things are sharp. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to go in from this side. Or do I? Hmm. What I was thinking was I still didn't put the clips on there. Um, putting a charm or something on the outside, but I've got two signatures, and so I don't, I don't think I want that much going on out, out on the, um, yeah, it's fine. So, uh, I think I'm just going to do it the usual way. Take it easy on myself for once. All right, now. This is a pretty fat needle. Doesn't want to go through. There we go. So what videos are you guys watching? Are you watching any Christmas ones yet? I know there's a lot out there that have started on their Christmas. Now I'm not going to do a Christmas uh, journal this year. Um, I've got one that I never did put in my store last year. And, um, when I, I'm going to restock my store, and I'm going to put that in it then. Okay. See, I'm already, 
I'm already having issues because I'm on camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I just can't seem to do it flawlessly like some people. What's the problem? It's got a big enough hole. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that camera tries to turn off after a certain amount of time, but it surely does. Okay. Now I'm going to line this up with this one. And I'm going to go through the wrong place. There's that one, and I know that I'm at two and a quarter and two and a quarter. As long as you got your middle right, it should work out. And on this, this is a, a lily. Tim Holtz ruler and one side it's the measurement and on the other side is uh, the middle zero so you can find the center by making it even on this side and this side of the zero and you'll know your center and once if everything's got the same center and you go out the same amount you measure out the same amount top and bottom on each signature am I making sense it should it should work out right and I'm not uh, you know I'm with math <clears throat> but um, that ruler is is ticket I know I got an extra hole but that's just that's gonna be covered up. okay now, I know what I need to do here. I don't think I made them quite large enough for this honking needle. They're right there in that crease. I hope I'm not going in and out of the shot here because I'm sliding all over the table. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's do this one a little bit better. I'll probably just speed it up or cut it out. Who knows? One or the other.
because they're not even. Which doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong with my theory. It just means there's there's a human error. And this is handmade, so it's not supposed to be perfect. What is that? ink. Okay. Sorry about that, girlfriend. I wish I'd done it better for you, but that's pretty close. It's pretty close. And uh, I've already, um, I've got my holes punched for the closure. I've got a little lace tab on each signature and here at the bottom hanging out are the little inside pockets that I did. I um, glued or tried to glue uh, this wide lace ribbon on um, tea dyed tracing paper. And it's just got such an open weave to it. It's just a matter of having, having enough places to grab. And so, I've also done a bookmark for her. Um, you can get these little things on Amazon. They have these small ones and then they have larger ones. And I put a little heart charm, heart, cross charm on the end of it. Yeah, these are ribbon, ribbon clasps, maybe. That's what they're called. And then, of course, I've got um, yield bulb pin holding it on with a an eyelet there. Okay, so let's get this cleaned off. Get on about our business. See, I'm gonna need some skinny double sided tape. You know, it's really risky me cutting this myself. I don't cut the straightest in the world. It made it very, very narrow. I don't know if I can... Hmm. I love this. <laughs> I 
still love the tape. Even if... Well, I mean, I still love the... I'll start over, Shiva. I love my bone folder. I've got others, but... Um, I was tearing this just fine the other day. Um, but this one's the bomb. I wonder if I'm, I might have it turned different. And I got it at, uh, that's what it was, at um, scrapbookingwithme.com. It is, um, if you hadn't asked me, I could have told you. The brand looks, looks like it's V Saker. It's Teflon. And it does. Good job. Okay. Ow. Oops. I'm going to have to bend that little bit back. Or maybe wrap it over. Here we go. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a little bit too wide. But no worries. I'll just fold it over. This would have been speeded up, Sheila. Okay, no. Okay, I've got to stand up. Well, I've got to put it on the plastic first. Sheila. On the acrylic. You can see that just a little bit. But work on that a little bit more, I think. Okay. okay I got that covered. I do believe. Okay, so now we trim and repeat the process. Don't you do it, Sheila. Mm -mm. Hoping this fabric fix will adhere. Okay. I think I'll turn it around this way. What a sweet baby. I think that's going to just have to be all right. Please don't cut off anymore. And I hope I'm not getting a big old fingerprint right there. Alright, Sheila. I think we got it, folks. Whew. Not without some calamity, but that's okay. It's a junk journal, it's handmade. 
that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I was thinking I heard my cat. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to. No, that won't show up that good anyway. So we're just going to put her there. But I do need something. <clears throat> Dad, my boo -boo. Okay. So let's think about this. I want to put that down there. But hey. We can put one of our little, <laughs> excuse me, that's going to cover up my boo-boo, and I'm going to, when I get it sewn and a little button or something put on there, it's going to be adorable. Okay, so. I'll go ahead and stick her down. Hope I'm gonna like where I stick it. <laughs> okay, and of course there's there's not enough there to stitch, so I'm gonna put just ever so slightly to the left because of my closure right there. Cute, I do believe. This is gone, so I should have nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And um, so I think my thinking is I'll I'll just go ahead and put the focal point on on it. But uh, we shall see. So this is it so far. I've got the pocket with the um, coming up. <laughs> I should have sewn that, but I'd already sewn that. Okay, never mind. So this is going to have this on it, I think. Okay, and then inside we'll probably do like I do usually a corner pocket. Um, and then I have made up these pages in my little scrapbook software, and it's, it just says, today is month of year, today I'm grateful for, where she can put just a little grateful, uh, something she's grateful for, and, um, I'm gonna put, um, some cardstock or something over this, it'll be a belly band, and then I found this online on Pinterest, maybe. Um, SOAP, Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. Thought that went well with it. Then I've got some, um, I've mixed uh, cotton and twig and uh, William Morris papers in here. And here's our short term prayer list with a little uh, scripture. This is some vintage paper from um, a store here in Alabama back in the day. And um, I just glued it, folded it, glued it to the side, put some lace over it, and did a stitch down there. And uh, I will probably cover that over there with, with one of my side clusters, maybe. Now, on the inside, you've got Bible verses for stress relief and a little filling of page she can fill out. And answered prayer, short term prayer. And I tried to put decorative paper in between each. And she can take notes during the Sunday sermon or whatever. And she's got a few of those. Because, you know, because she's grateful more than <laughs> once. 
got a little ink there, but I'm just letting it ride. And I've used tea dyed paper to print on is the reason that it got that. that. And then here's another little pocket. And long term prayers and another little pocket uh, with a vintage hymnal page. And uh, the center spread. Here is another um, vintage piece uh, from a, a store in Samantha, Alabama. And here's a little label tag, whatever. And these blanks may have tuck spots or something like that on them. You may do that. And another soap. Another designer page. Place for notes. And grateful. So we can put something back here as well. And here I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm going to decorate this first though. Um, don't know with what. So, um, I will be back when I have stitched all this. I'm afraid I kind of started without you. <laughs> um, I did, I did, I stitched all of them, and I did a different stitch. I think I only, um, did um, one stitch twice. I only repeated one stitch. And um, it was this loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, look look, look at this. Tim Holtz, little people, some of them fit. So I think I'll do those. And I had a look at my birds. And most of my birds are too big. But these little guys... Uh, I believe I'm going to go with them. I think they'll they'll fit okay. Just got to figure out which way I want them to go. Uh, because this stitch looks kind of like bird tracks. So, <laughs> that was cute. Um, I'm thinking about that. I've got... Um, a lot of... I got, I got a whole pack of these buttons. They're black and white. And some of them, especially the white ones, are very, very thin. And so, I mean, they, it, it wasn't much. So, I thought, I want to get those and see what I can do about using them. So, that's what I'm doing. Now, uh, this, this little girl, I think I will put that um, cabochon. That's what they are cabochon on there and um, the bird here, the bird there, the little um, glossy accented Tim Hope snippet. Uh, it might need something else but I might just wait until I go to use them because I kind of like to customize them according to what I'm doing. So uh, I'm afraid if I get too ahead of myself, then I'm just not going to end up not liking them and not using them. And so, don't want to go there. This is teeny tiny. Oh gosh, this is, this is teeny tiny. I think this ought to go with her. Uh, I don't know about anything else. Here's a teeny tiny mushroom. Okay. Now, I may or may not glue all of these. Because, like I said, I might want to wait. And so far, I'm using them pretty good. So, 
You see, I, I don't think I like that, so I'm going to leave that. I do have some of this really pretty ribbon that I used for um, the, the bookmark on the prayer journal. And you know, I could I could put some of these down. Maybe not. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it looks it looks pretty there. <laughs> you take them apart, maybe not so much. <clears throat> and I do have a whole drawer. Of this this kind of thing and blue ones and what's this? Oh, didn't even know I had this. What in the world? Boy, that's some chunky stuff. <clears throat> For that girl, I guess that's why it's still in my door. I have these that I really like, and they look good on these. But, you know, not all of them have to be vertical. Like I said, some can be horizontal, like those. So, I think that we'll call that a video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to have a think about this one, and I'm going, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put this somewhere here. Maybe wrap, wrap it around a little bit. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hold it way over here so you can see it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. I think I need to put the ribbons in there. But they're, I was going to use those chiffon ones, and I know that they're just going to fray like everything. So I don't know if I want to or not. And... I know I want to use some of these little um, scripture um, things <laughs> from um, my porch prints. So, oh, but I think I'm going to call it a day and go rest a little bit because um, I think I pulled something in my tummy when I got, got up off a short stool and didn't support myself. Just use my core, which I don't have. <laughs> so, he's kind of aching right there. Okay, so, um, I know this was kind of all over the place, but I hope you uh, found something to like about it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to push the notification bell because you never know when I'm going to have a video. It's the it's the editing that gets me. Okay, so um happy Thursday or whenever it is that you watch this. I hope your day's been as bright and shiny as mine has. Uh take care of each other, take care of yourselves and um hugs and kisses until next time. Bye.